Lots of people get nervous about interviews, but there are plenty of things you can do to put you at ease on the big day. Preparation is key. You need to make sure you know about the company and what they do. So check out their website and pick out a few facts about its history, what it does and any important projects you can find. You can also be pretty sure that certain questions will always be asked, so you should think of answers in advance. Make sure you prepare something for when they ask you to talk about yourself, your goals and your strengths and weaknesses, whilst it's also helpful to prepare something in case they ask why you want the job Job and what you can bring to it. If the interview is somewhere you don't know, do a trial run the day before. Make sure it's at the same time as the interview so the traffic levels will be similar and that way you shouldn't get flustered because you're in a rush when it's the big day. If something does happen that makes you late, call ahead to let the interviewer know it will be appreciated. First impressions count too, so make sure you dress smartly. You don't need to spend a lot on a new suit, smart trousers or skirt, a suitable shirt and clean shoes will be fine. Ties are a good idea if you're male, just ensure that you fasten the top button of your shirt. As well as clothes, ensure that hair and nails are clean, jewellery is kept to a minimum and perfume or aftershave is subtle. Upon meeting the interviewer for the first time, give them a confident handshake and maintain eye contact. That's something you can practice beforehand if you're not sure. Once the interview starts, don't talk too much but don't give one word answers either. Answer questions as concisely as possible. If you do find yourself rambling, stop, apologise and get back on track. The interviewer will be impressed by your self-awareness. Your preparation should have given you an idea about how you should answer many questions. But if you're asked about previous employers, don't badmouth them, but don't lie either. Say something like you wanted a new challenge or you wanted to work somewhere with a better team ethic. You'll get to ask questions too, and you may pick up some ideas for these from reading about the company. You should also ask about job specifics like the team you'll be working with and what kind of career opportunities there are within the company. Don't ask about salary in the first interview as this will make you look motivated by money. However, if the employer brings up the subject, be honest and realistic about your expectations. Phone interviews are just as important as those that are held in person. They should be dealt with professionally and given as much consideration as face-to-face -face interviews. This could make all the difference when it comes to choosing candidates for second interviews. All interviews are different, so there are bound to be areas that we haven't covered here. But the bulk of what's been mentioned is likely to come up, so you should feel suitably prepared. For more hints and tips, visit paidtolearn.co.uk.